Kung Hitha Choi. We're here at a temple in Richmond, BC, celebrating Chinese New Year, where people have come to hope for a prosperous New Year. It's already been somewhat of a prosperous New Year for me. Fujifilm Canada sent me this uh, brand new, not even released to the market yet, X-Pro2. It's a full production model, so I'm able to shoot raw. This is the, the second model in the series, and I'm expecting great things. I wanted to find a good situation to use it in. I thought, you know, Chinese New Year celebrations at the local Buddhist temple would be the ideal place to test the low light performance and autofocus capabilities. It's a very challenging environment, even for a DSLR. The camera has performed immensely well. I love that it has both EVF and OVF. I found myself surprisingly using the EVF a lot more than I thought I would. It's great, especially in these situations. And when using the 56, unfortunately the uh, rangefinder does get covered up quite a bit. So switching over to the EVF obviously helped that. I do like how the shutter release has been fixed, so now you can press it halfway, focus, and then recompose, and it will hold that focus point. I think that's a, a great addition. I can't believe how well this autofocus is performing. The 35 has been uh, phenomenal, and it's definitely the newest lens, and you can tell that it's benefited from all the latest technology. Plus, it's got the weather sealing. Cons, continuous autofocus is a little disappointing. It's certainly not up to the standards of a DSLR. I do like how you can swap out the auto exposure lock and autofocus lock so that they become different functions. The button is a little recessed for me. The X-Pro2 is an amazing camera and incorporates some incredible technology, but it's no DSLR killer. Nothing can outperform a Canon or Nikon DSLR for breaking news or major sporting events but it does have some incredible technology and has really brought mirrorless to the forefront. I could definitely make room for this camera in my kit.